Hey friends, thanks for watching. Today I'll be flushing the coolant on my Yanmar 2 GM 20F. All right, so I prepped the engine bay here. I removed my battery so I could get access underneath here and I have some lines running up to the engine block and these valves are accessible on my boat from this little fitting. So I've got the two knobs there. One drains the heat exchanger on the top and the engine block on the bottom. So I'm gonna start with the engine block and then I'll go to the top valve and see what comes out. All right, let's reach in here and loosen the first one. Oh yeah, getting some coolant. So I've had this boat two and a half years like three years pretty much, and I've never changed the coolant. Um, doing some winterization, I figured today's a good day to also drain this coolant. I'll be using the Havoline um, conventional 5050. It's got low sulfates, rust inhibitors, all that good stuff. I know that a lot of people use the Dexcool uh, Red which I do believe Yanmar calls for. Um, but the green was already in there. It's been in there for about two and a half, three years since I got the boat. And I just don't want to risk um, gumming up the engine. It's what was in there before and just kind of the mantra, if it's, it's not broke, don't fix it. I'll be flushing it out with some distilled water and then uh, doing that a couple times and then refilling it with the fresh antifreeze. Okay, so I just pulled this out from under there, and that's about half a gallon um, from that bottom valve. So I'll close that and uh, open up the other one, see if anything else comes out. Okay, I use my pump just to pump out the rest out of that reservoir. Okay, here's my method with the cup. I just slowly but surely fill this back up. Got a little rag there if I drip anything. You need to purge the air out too, so you can see. Pump this. Make sure you get all that air out. Okay, I put some fresh distilled water in there, ran it for about five minutes at 1600 RPM then shut it off and now I'm draining the top valve. Getting some light green fluid. Here's what it's looking like after one flush. I drained the heat exchanger on the top valve and then the block on the bottom. So we'll fill it up again and give it another go. round two yeah, you can see the different jugs that was the first one just making sure I'm getting all of it in and all of it out each time and just keep repeating the process but the first two are very close in color this one's starting to get more brownish all right I took off the reservoir and glad I did it's pretty gross in there um, so I'm just gonna Wash that out really good with some distilled water. Wipe this thing down. Okay, here's the, the process of my flush. That's where I started. First flush, second flush, third flush, fourth flush. And I'm on my fifth flush here. Cleaned up my reservoir. Got it looking good. Put the cap back on, everything's good. Gonna run it one last time and then fill it with my Havoline conventional premixed coolant. Let's see, I've got it full and I'll purge the air. Pump this, pump this bottom hose. Pump this one. Okay, 
So it cycles through this pump and into the block. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna fill up the reservoir. All right, there she is. Back up and running.